The neighbors heard me giving the yes their food. Yeah. You think this is for you, don't you? Ladies, we all know it's your supper. Okay. Inca, leave it. There we go. Now, while they're eating, I'm gonna come up here and fill their hay racks. Okay, they have that hay bale out in the open. But I'm gonna come over here and fill the sheltered it looks like a torrential, not a windy storm, just a wet one. So in there, there's no hay rack. There's the hay bale I'm using. And I'm gonna fill these hay racks up. You can see, oh, maybe you can't see. Well, there's hay in here. You can hear it. So I'm gonna put more hay, this one's empty. So there we go. And in a few minutes, the yos will be coming out around the corner. The yos are coming back in, having had their supper. And I was looking at this poor tree here. It's in varying states of life and death, this apple tree. This branch is completely dead, so it sounds like this. This branch is half dead, so it sounds like this. This branch is dying, so it sounds like this. You can hear the hollowness in all three of those branches. So all of those three branches are here. This is a bit that's dying here. And you can see there's a bit of death down in here because this branch that's dead comes all the way down to here. Isn't that right, Ear Feather? This one here is living. Now listen to this. So that's living, full of life. Nearly completely dead. Completely dead. Dying. So there's three different tones in these three branches that are in different states of death, whereas that one there is alive and well. So completely dead, halfway dead, dying, and alive. And each one has a different tone. You can see this is, the bark has completely come off of this. The bark is coming off of this it's definitely not doing well. And the bark, is, this is beginning to die. So that are different sounds of living and dying trees. The yews are all beginning to look pregnant, very pregnant. Isn't that right, ladies? How are you? How are you, Ebony? Yes. Yes. Okay, ladies, you've had your supper. Your hay has been laid out for the rainy storm. So, see you tomorrow morning. Okay, ladies? Good girls. No, 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 oh, Inca. Okay, go on. Go on. Go on. There we go. Closing the gate. So that I don't get stampeded for breakfast.
Good night, ladies. See you tomorrow. Hopefully it won't be wet when I come feed you breakfast. <laughs>